So what I do now, and I'm still not 100% perfect at it yet, is that I will subscribe to like a meal delivery service where I at least I get like two meals a day delivered. They're already prepped. I just got to heat them up. I have a balanced ratio of like protein, carbohydrates, whatever. Nice. And then it's fulfilling like a healthy eating lifestyle for me and not completely breaking my bank. And then I don't have rotted vegetables in my fridge. And I think that's great. And I I actually wanted to try that. There's there's a ton of different uh, services out there that like mm-hmm. deliver like fresh ing- in- ingredients and like tell you exactly what to do. Like I'd, l- I'd love to try that out. I think that's great. And honestly, I think it's hard to cook for one. It is. Like when I'm cooking for other people, then I'm like, okay, we need to, we need, I need, like, especially my kids, like, I need to make a mm-hmm. veggie, I need to do this, I need to do that. But if it's for me, I'm like, nah, I don't need that. So mm-hmm. I give you like kudos for even like cooking for yourself because I think that's, oh, I would just talk myself out of it. <laughs> well, I used to like meal prep and stuff like that. The problem is always in cooking for one is that you have too many leftovers. There's very few recipes that yeah. are for one person, at least ones that I would yeah. eat. Mm-hmm. So, That gets really boring really quickly if like I have to cook something like it's cheaper for me to buy a whole chicken. Right. But then I cook a chicken. What am I eating for five or six days? A chicken? I don't want that. (laughs) Chicken for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. So I'm in a phase right now. Maybe I will get back into it, but I'm just not cooking because I can't I can't deal with like eating the same thing over and over again. So meal delivery allows variety for me. Yeah, no, and I think that's great. So when you're not doing your meal kit delivery service, Mm -hmm. do you do like takeout or do you do like the other apps like the Uber Eats or the whatever they are? Mm -hmm. I don't know what the other ones are. I used to think do DoorDash at one point, but Mm. I don't. I'm I'm probably Uber Eats just because it's the easiest and I already obviously I use Uber. There's probably other ones that offer better benefits, but it's just... It's just easy. I know how to do it. I don't want to learn something new. Yeah. What I've never tried is like HelloFresh or Chef's Plate where they send you the ingredients and the recipe and you put it all together as a meal and cook it. I've never done that. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, like HelloFresh, mm-hmm. good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I want to try. I think that's good. Do it. My sister- Tell me how it is. I won't. I won't do that. <laughs> Most of those recipes usually involve cheese and I hate cheese. So I would never like if you if mm. I'm going to all that effort, then I might as well just like pick what I want to eat and get groceries. My sister has done it, I think, once or twice. And she said it was good. So and she's mm. a, they're a family of four. Gotcha. So I have a question for you. So if you're not doing like a takeout from a, mm-hmm. from a restaurant or you're not doing like a meal kit thingy, do, do you go to the grocery store and get your food? No, because I'm doing meal delivery. So they already prepared the meals for me. So, okay. When was the last like, time you- you've been to a grocery <laughs> store? How dare you? When was the last time I went to a grocery store? Okay. So technically, the last time I went to the grocery store was a couple weeks ago by accident. So I, I didn't actually like do anything. A couple weeks ago? Yeah, but I didn't buy anything because I had significant... I'd burned my hand, remember? I had burned my hand mm-hmm. very badly and I had the allergic reaction in my hand swole to two, two times its regular size. So I'd gone into Shopper's Drug Mart to buy some Benadryl and some polysporin. And then I was trying to get out of the building and I thought I could go upstairs and walk out because the Shopper's Drug Mart was like below ground level, or at least that's what I thought. And then I ended up in Law mm-hmm. and then I couldn't get out. So, so you didn't just like peruse and like sh- walk around the no because this is before was work i was supposed to be at work okay 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 i'll give you that i'll give you that yeah. fine 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 so um yeah that's when i was in a grocery store last by accident <laughs> by other accident. than that it's been a few months that i've been in a grocery store yeah oh God, it's been like a few hours for me <laughs> i i don't like the grocery store i don't like it and it, i okay. find it like mm-hmm. When I did grocery or when I did cook at home, I did go to the grocery store then either. I I would have my groceries delivered. Okay. However, that's expensive though. No, it's just it was ten dollars, and then I I had a membership, so it actually was less than that. Of like, Mm. you know, if I'm getting groceries delivered every two weeks or whatever, it would just it would be fifty dollars for like three months or something. So like that would pay itself off. That's girl math. When we work together, though, I would go. I would go to the grocery store sometimes to go to the salad bar or get like food there. I okay, did do yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's good. It's not That's like good. I have no concept. But of don't the grocery you? Store. 
don't you miss? Like I just like sometimes like to walk through the aisle, see what's on sale, grab whatever's on sale that I know I'm going to need eventually. Just no. like save myself some money, girl math, and just like walk around. I hit up different grocery stores because they have different products and different uh, things. Chris is like shaking sister. her head at me. Like this is yeah. like the most ridiculous thing she's ever heard of. I mean, I would... I would, I could argue and say single people don't think about prices, but there's lots of other single women I know that actually do that, what you're doing, like go to different grocery stores for different prices, different products. No, I don't, I, I have no concept and never had any concept of how much things cost. Like, I don't know. I've lived my life <laughs> as a rich person from a grocery perspective. No clue. Okay. I'll take pictures of things next time I'm at a, I'm at a grocery store and send it to you. Please don't. Like, you don't try and ruin my day. Like, I've, I'm have i living a happy life because I don't go in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. But I think that's but different because I need to make sure that I have snacks for my kids at all times. Mm -hmm. Like fruit. They love their fruit and their berries, which is uh, can be expensive at some point. So, like, I always need to have food in the house. Not just for <laughs> me, just for the kids. I just Instacart that. <laughs> I just get someone to pick it up and bring it. <laughs> like all I think of is like cha-ching that's all I think of yeah but and, and valid it is cha-ching and I, I'm not saying I do it every day but I, I'm helping the economy number one keeping people employed and I'm not spending you tell yourself that <laughs> I'm not spending it on I don't spend I don't buy like luxury items right like I, I could buy brand you know very high-end purses at this point in my life but I don't because I don't have an interest so I'm gonna spend my money for somebody to deliver the stuff to my door just makes it easy. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've I think we've talked enough about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could go on and on. Yeah. The idea is to just create a routine that involves some balance. So going to the grocery store is great. If like gas isn't too expensive, walking to the grocery store is even better. Culturally, in parts of the world. They don't do what we do here and go like every week or every two weeks to like do a bulk buy. It's part of their everyday life. Like I'm going to go buy bread at the bakery mm -hmm. every day. I'm going to go buy totally. what I need for dinner that night. That's probably not conducive to our lifestyle because it's so busy and there's there's a lack of like work-life balance. But ideally, that's what you yeah. want. You want to incorporate those kind of healthy habits and not be focused so much on, I think, the end result. So then the restrictive eating comes into play. It's more like let's get some positive reinforcing habits into our routine so that we can feel better about our activities and what we're doing. Because also mm -hmm. the whole cycle of restricting and binging and restricting and binging permanently damages your body and you don't want to do that either. 